What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, I should say. Uh, uh. And <laughs> if you're a slave to the 9 to 5 like me, you know what it is, man. We're halfway there. Two more days until that sweet, sweet two-day salvation of the weekend. Anyways, today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Division Street Auto. Division Street Auto is located at 595 Division Street in Pawtucket. And you can take your vehicle to them for anything you need. Basically, they're a one-stop shop for anything mechanical, whether it's tire rotations, transmission replacements, oil changes, lube jobs, um, muffler work. You want to get those pipes cleaned, whatever you do to pipes on cars, take it to Division Street Auto. They'll take care of you. Give them a call, 401-723-7080. You mentioned the J-Squared Podcast. They're going to hook you up with 10% off of all the labor to your vehicle. Guys, that means you save money. Mention this podcast, you save money. Your car needs shit. It's winter. You need snow tires. Go see him. Go see George down at Division Street Auto. He'll hook you up. Anyways, today's episode of the podcast is me and none other than my lovely co-host, Mr. J. O'Leary, and we hope you enjoy. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. Here we are. Here we are again. What's up, Jay? What's going on, Josh? Hopefully, uh, you guys, for anybody that's watching this on YouTube, you might have noticed some enhancements we've made to our studio. And we're not talking about our physical looks. Although those have been enhanced also. Absolutely. You know, a little bit of Botox, a little bit of lip. But no, we, uh, you know, we're trying to do our, our makeshift studio here and make it look as visually appealing as we can for everybody, so we hope you like it. This beautiful screen in the background. We're definitely on the up climb. Yeah, we're not. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely <laughs> definitely on the up climb. We're not yeah. going backwards. We hope anyway. So what Let's about go. this first this first thing that we were talking about earlier? Um, Oscar Meyer putting out a job ad for a, what is it a salaried position? The Wiener Mobile. The Wiener Mobile. Who so, who would really like to do that? I think I don't know. Whoa, that, who wouldn't, dude? You wouldn't fucking drive around in a wiener mobile all day to get bank, bro? Well, hold on. Bank? What is dude? bank? Well, hold on. Let's let's forget about what they're paying you. You can 10K? Make a, fair enough. You could make a killing off of telling the entire co- I'm that guy. Like, that wiener mobile is me. I'm that guy. Look at that, bro. Look at how pimp that is. George, is there any way we can actually see what the inside of that looks like? Because right now, it just looks like a big penis. sick-ass cool car with a Looks like a sick-ass penis. It kind of looks like a bus almost. Like it looks. Is that supposed to be a like bun? Windows. I think it is supposed to be a bun. It's like a bun with a little wiener. Gotta find it. pictures of the inside. Interior of the wiener mobile. <laughs> be careful with what you fucking search for right here. I know. Inside of the so wiener. So the job. The job says it needs a one year commitment beginning this June, and you have to have a degree in journalism, communications, public you relations, advertising, or marketing, and it's a one hundred percent travel job. Hey, fuck you. So Oscar you're not Meyer. home. You're just always, <laughs> always on travel. the road. Does it say what the salary is? Wait a minute. No, you're always on the sure. road. You need a journalism degree? Like, yes. Are you, serious? you want somebody in public relations or journalism or something that, that has some type it's gonna be, well, it's It says be you can also have a marketing people degree, approaching you. Yeah, you need you're a degree be, to drive this around. No, it's not about driving it around. It's all the people that you interact with that are like, holy shit. Like, you know, you're going to probably, I mean, I'm sure there's more. you got to like plan events or God knows what. But anywho. If so what's any the of pay? Our friends, hold on. If any of our friends are listening... If you're out there, you know, if unemployment, I know with uh, Brian the, Rodriguez. the Don, really wouldn't just drop his first and last name out there. Anywho, the, <laughs> you know, I know that uh, apparently, according to Trump, Don, unemployment is at an all time low in the last 10,000 years. But if you are unemployed, that's what you got for the inside. Look, look at that, dude. That's like, oh, a you can bring like your fucking squad, bro. You can bring your squad in the Wienermobile, dude. It looks like a 1970s airplane. <laughs> it just gets, that's pretty sick looking. But yeah, so if you're looking for a gig, you know, they're hiring, hit up the Wienermobile, and that's that. Salary is negotiable. So. Where, where can you find the, the application for this job? OscarMeyerWiener.com or Wieners.com? Uh, it or? says basically if you have to mail a resume to Hot Dogger Position to Oscar, <laughs> Ma- Oscar Meyer in Verona, Wisconsin. <laughs> you can also email it to them at WMRequest at CraftHeinzCompany.com. Hey, we should definitely email them and tell them that, hey, look, we have a podcast. We want to take a tour. We want to 
drive Ooh. this around for a little bit. That's not a bad idea. I like opening any email with, we have a podcast. Like, that gets us some clout. Like, respect what we're about to say. Read this email thoroughly because we have a podcast and we're not afraid to talk well, shit. Well, that's absolutely. I mean, we could do that. Uh, so you know. the question is, do you have to take the Wienermobile oh. home? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me just get us sidetracked for a minute. Probably. <laughs> Where am I going to park the Wienermobile in Pawtucket? Oh, I'll that's park, right. I'll park that shit in your buns. <laughs> Whoa. You actually, you'll wake up and your wiener will be on fucking bricks. Well, it says 100% crap. <laughs> <track. laughs> you go out and just, your shit's on cinder blocks, dude. Yeah. The Wienermobile's like, whoa, what? I'm not going to lie. I, I wouldn't be the first time that I had a fucking... Put a car on fucking bricks. <laughs> fucking criminal. So, we were just, what did you just say? You said something, you know, like emailing, and that means we have some pull because we have a podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when well, my buddy and I, we, we were maybe 19 or 20 at the time, we just started a new job, and we were just, you know, kids. We went in this, uh, this telemarketing company, and we did, it was like a joint interview. We both did the interview together. Were you like, hello, dude, like oh fucking God, stepbrothers? We had, <laughs> hey, we had, <laughs> we had on a... We had on like cheap twenty dollars suits, you know the suits and the the shirt and tie that comes in a box and they match. Good lord! The one from Burlington Co Factory or something. So we go, we're all pumped up. We're like, yeah, you know, this is it, dude. Nice office, we're good. The owner interviews us, and he's like, "All right, here, read this script," and then boom, boom. We're like, now at this point, we had only worked at like you know, McDonald's fast or something, food. Or, yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah. minimum wage shit. And he sells us on this position. Boom, you guys can make a grand a week. We're like, hell yeah, dude. That's big money. Let's go. We're rich. He goes, we're and rich. at this point, like I said, we're broke kids, man. He says, the dude interviewing us, I'll never forget. He's like, hey, man, here's your script. You're going to be telemarketing. You know, long story short. Memorize this first paragraph in 10 minutes, and I'll give you 100 bucks. Bro, 100 bucks at that point is a lot of money. You know what I mean? We're used to making three, 400 a week. Yeah. I can make 100 bucks in 20 minutes, so we both do it. We get the money. We're like, damn, we're balling out now. This job is good. So our first day on the gig, we're still little punk-ass kids. We go, we're going out for lunch, and we go to this Chinese restaurant. And I have this brilliant idea. You know, I'm like, fuck, you know, we don't have a ton of money. Chinese food is probably going to be like 14 bucks each. We really have like a dollar menu budget where we should be spending like four to five bucks on lunch. But we're like, fuck it, you know, like if we can't eat tomorrow and the next day, whatever. So I tell him, I go, bro, I got an idea. What's that? I said, why don't we tell them, you know, not ask for anything free, but just tell them that. Because they ask why we're in suits. You know, we're young kids. Tell restaurant them critics? We're restaurant critics. <laughs> we're restaurant critics for the fucking, like, local, you know, local news. We made You're some scam show. artists. We're like, oh, you know, like the Rhode Island Journal, we're restaurant critics. And then, oh, oh, very nice. Yeah. Where have you ever been before? We just start naming restaurants. Wow, was like, that yeah. like a Chinese? That was my Chinese accent. You know how to talk. No, I'm just not trying to be big. Rice oh. is rice. Yeah. <laughs> rice is rice. So then, we, you know, we just tell them, like, hey, this is what's up. And, Shout uh, out to Koi. I'll tell you what, dude. No bullshit. That was the best service I've ever gotten in a restaurant ever, bro. Ever, dude. They just brought over everything so quick. And then, of course, naturally, at the end of everything... Just like, okay, thank you. Your, your food's all set. It's all set. We're like, yeah, let's do it. We tried that shit the next day at the Spanish restaurant. Bro, not a chance. Laughed us out of there. They're just like, oh, yeah, good. Enjoy. It'll be eight bucks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, some places probably don't care. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know if they don't care. They just didn't believe us. We were like two fucking idiots. I mean, we, we could like totally. Two young ass kids in a cheap tie. I mean, we legit do have a podcast. We could totally walk into any restaurant and be like, hey, we're reviewing your restaurant. Ooh. So, His sparks are flying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could pretty much rough. do that for any business, to tell you the truth. Nice. But anyway, so where can we... <laughs> hit up Task What was that address for? <laughs> Task of Ford tomorrow. Like, it's a nice truck. I have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Driving around a Bentley. Not from Tasca, but... No, bring the Wienermobile to the Chinese restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> what was that What was that uh, website address or whatever that they, somebody can go to? Well, no, there's a physical or... address you have to mail your resume to. Damn. Oh, was that the Wienermobile? Step up into the new age. There's an email address, too, to, to mail it, or to email it. Oh, all right. Well, hey, it's available. If you, if you guys are looking for a job, you can always drive the, the Wienermobile around. Um, and the, the the wages are negotiable, so depending on what you're worth. and Between minimum wage and 100K. Yeah, anywhere in between. <laughs> anywhere in between. <laughs> All right. How about New York, though? Right. This is total. What, hold on. This is a total change of subject. <laughs> what if What if the wage for that was, uh, you know, like depending on experience? <laughs> like, ten bucks like, an hour to drive around the country. <laughs> depending on your experience driving. Like, hey, I, I've driven at least ten wieners. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, topic change. Anywho, what you're were disgusting, you bro. You don't have to get vulgar. You said something about you wanted like a night. What? What abortions? Where? What state? New York City is passing some city kind of legislation. State. New York City state. New York City. Yeah, New York State, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not just the city. It would probably make more it's sense. The city ordinance. The city. I guess they're they're passing something. I I, I read uh, they're. Full term abortions. Full term abortions. Yeah, that like can't you be can true. be a fucking like twenty two year old kid, and your parent can be like, "All right, you're you're gonna die." That's not how an abortion works, James. To why <laughs> full term? You think it's like the, the entire life of that human while they're alive? No, I believe it. Uh, <laughs> it's like I go to my son and go, "Babe, I don't think we really want this kid." My son's nine. I'm like, "Let's abort him." He's thirty three. <laughs> Let's abort him. <laughs> like what, dude? Well, well first Steven, of all, get off the court. Get I off mean, the court, come here. There's there's a couple of, uh, of top talking points here. One, whether personally one believes in abortion to begin with, let alone late term abortions. How what's your what do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, me personally, I'm not a big abortion person. I don't. I don't think anybody's a big abortion person. Well, abortion, you know, I'm just saying I, I don't. Yeah. I, there's certain circumstances that obviously I I I would I would think you know like if it I think if, what we need if the is, person's health a, is in danger, we need a very very pro-choice advocate on here so we can have that discussion. Because I think we both kind of feel the same way about it. Yeah. And it's just going to be us regurgitating. I, I think nowadays, ideas. more or less, abortion is more of a, a birth control. They just use it as a, a kind of a, it's just, it's just a birth control, which mm-hmm. I find disgraceful. That's me personally. Um, when you say birth control, you mean like, oh shit, I'm too young for a baby, not going to do it. Like, I just don't want it. So I'm going to well, abort I, it. I don't want it. It's a little different than I'm not ready for it. No, nah, to me it's the same. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't disagree too yeah. much, but I I mean, I don't want it. It might mean like, hey, man, I don't have time for this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm enjoying my life right now. I like my freedom. Right. I'm not ready for it. It might be like, hey, I'm still in high school. I don't have any money. I don't have any home. Right. There's, so there's a difference between I don't want it and I'm not ready for it. N- not that I'm advocating that abortion is right for either of those situations, but I don't want to sum everything up and just, you know, I don't want it. Like blanket statement saying, like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want, want it. it. I, I just, yeah, I, I think a lot of abortions, uh, and I, believe, you, I when, believe I read a statistics, actually, a statistic, I believe it was like maybe last year, the year before, or something like that, that there was 41 million abortions. I mean, to me, that's just that's like, a lot. that's a so lot, man. a lot, you know, um, so, I mean, like, obviously, there's a moral issue there, and there's an ethical it's, issue. It's tough, Some man. people are completely, you know, they're just like, hey, fuck that. It's it's not outside of the womb. Doesn't even fucking exist yet. Doesn't have a social security number, so fucking, you know. Oof, that's I, rough. I don't believe that. I think that's, like, you know. Yeah. I mean, put it this way. If we found a living cell on fucking Mars, we would say that there's life on Mars. Why is it, Why doesn't that apply to, hmm. you know, abortions when they're, like, when it's breathing, has a heartbeat? I, I, again, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not a, what, what would this be, like, biologist? Pro-life? Yeah. I, no, no, no. Like, I, I don't specialize in how the human anatomy works. And You can still have an opinion. My my question would be, I, I know that a popular opinion is, and I hate when I see people use the word parasite, but right. to compare, you know, like a fetus to a parasite because it can't live outside of the host, which is his mother. Right, but it's not viable. Yeah, but I mean, you're talking about, you know, a, a life that still has a heartbeat. You know, can, that still is growing and needs nutrients and ultimately will 100% live if, well, I can't say 100% because things happen, but if all goes as naturally planned, you know, will live outside of its mother's body and, you know, hopefully have a healthy life. So, well, put it this it's way. It's still tricky to me, you know. Even I, a child that's born, you take the mother out of the equation, that child will die. You know what I'm saying? Yes and no. A, I mean, a child that's actually physically outside of the womb still is dependent on yes and parents. no. I mean, you you can because uh, mothers die during childbirth sometimes. You know that baby can still live with a. It just needs nutrients and right love. as long as there's a yeah, but not it's not it's host. Yeah, it's host. Very different things. You know, it's host. What am I saying? What am I trying to say? Uh, uh, I don't know. Guardian, uh, somebody to take care of, care of it. Like <laughs> we can no longer <laughs> abort babies without guardians. <laughs> that child cannot live on its own, no True. matter what. You make a good In point. fact, I, I even heard of to feed it, somebody to nurture it. Clean yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It. Okay, I, I actually sense. read something that said, if you don't ever touch your child, I no R. Kelly shit. I'm yeah. talking about, you know... Human, like, skin-to-skin skin contact. Yeah, your yeah. child will die. 
Oof, I don't know if I saw that it would die. I'm sure that it has, you know, deep psychological effects. You know, I'm, I don't it's know crazy. if it would die. I don't know. That is yeah, crazy. I mean, I don't know how true it is either. I just something I read, you know, while researching abortions and shit. But um, so anyway. What, so, what does this actual law say, George? I mean, so, that, I mean, right now, the it looks like I, the... I'm seeing the headline, but what's... Yeah, the way that they're debating it now, I mean, it all goes into what trimester... You know, that's where the abortion kind the, of... What is the law that just passed? The law After that just 24 passed... weeks? Is that what? I mean, it's kind of just... It, it, it depends on state by state oh, or federally, it. but it says basically See, in New York... But look at what they the passed, headline says. If the mother's health is exactly. at risk. Exactly. So that's that's a whole different ball game. Yeah, that's, that's a whole a, different story. Right. But now... This fucking clickbaity shit just had us discuss abortion for 10 minutes for no reason. Well, no, I think that that... I think they might be softening the blow. I well, actually really? think it's well. No, that was that. The reason that people are in an uproar is basically because New York made it a law that says that you can have an abortion if the if the mother's health's at risk. But at the same time, if the mother's health's at risk, well, that's a whole different story. A whole different story. Right. And I think they took the the terminology and verbiage out of the law, saying that if you get if so, if you're a pregnant mother and you get murdered, they they charge you with double homicide. Now they, I guess they don't with this new law. Did you see that somewhere? Yeah, that's what I read in the oh. article. It wasn't CBS, but I mean, it was. Interesting. It was. It was a uh, another uh, another source. I mean, I have so many mixed feelings about it. You know, obviously, there's. Well, I think everybody has mixed feelings. I mean, if you yeah. ask somebody that's completely my, my, against abortion, my feeling is are you very completely dry. against abortion? Uh, that that's not what I'm saying. But my opinion is pretty easy to articulate. It's I am completely against abortion, aside from extenuating circumstances like rape or that should be approved you know by a doctor and both parents unless it's like rape or something but i believe rape accounts for less than 0.1 percent of all abortions so that's not even a realistic argument in this right it's like fringe it it doesn't even it shouldn't even shouldn't even be brought up when it comes to the legality of things because you can have a law with an exception like it's illegal for me to kill you right now but if you're trying to hurt me then i'm exempt from that you know being punished for killing you Correct. You know, so I, I think it should be, I don't think it's a, you know, I, I'm not pro-abortion. You know, I would say I'm against it, but I know that there are situations when it comes to rape, the mother's health, but like you said earlier, you know, but I, even I, say I don't rape. think you should, no. Why not? Uh, because I can't even put myself in a position, I can't even begin to pretend that I know what that's like, and the woman had no choice in that whatsoever. You know, I don't think she should be forced to have that baby. But, I mean, does that... I mean, I'm just asking kind of rhetorically, kind of, you know, just open for anybody to answer. There's no right or wrong. But there's only us here, so nobody right. else can answer. Well, that's what I'm saying. So, like, between you two, you know, is it... Is there a scenario, though... That's getting stronger. Is there a scenario, though, where it's it's almost morally wrong to... Even if... Let's say, even if you're raped, right? Can't you adopt? Can't you... I mean, can you give you the child up for adoption? But you're, yeah, still but you're forcing the woman forcing to have woman, that pregnancy yeah. when it's not something that she wanted or had any control over at all. Or consented to but, in any way, shape, Okay, let me present this question then. Oh, okay, right, right, you're right. It was forced. It was, I mean, obviously it was, right. it was forcefully... Did you forget what rape was for a second? <laughs> yeah, I did. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, she went out and just had some rape? <laughs> she, just, <laughs> she goes out and is like, hey, you want to rape? Like, hey, listen, like, you know, just because you got raped. No, I'm just kidding. That's actually not a joking subject. Everything's a joking subject. I not guess rape, it has though. to be not rape. It's not even. Is it rape or is it non-consensual sex? What is it? It's. <laughs> have you ever both seen that? Same. Have you ever seen that term non-consensual sex? I remember reading some shit, and it was. I, forget, I wish. Yeah, I, can, you look can at you pull it. Pull up like any rape? articles that have that term, and I'm like, wait a second. Did I just read the words non-consensual sex? I'm like, oh, that's rape, right? Like, there's no other way to word that. All right, so forcing a woman to 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 get to you know go through childbirth. Is that a justification, though, to to kill? That that's the that's the real. Question. Well, I think that's the debate that's going on right now in in the country as a whole. Is what is the limit, or where is it at? Where you know, is that line? somebody's raped and says that they're pregnant, but they're, you know, a month pregnant, and they're thinking about getting an abortion. Is that the same as somebody that's, you know, farther along that had mm-hmm. that willingly knew that they could get pregnant? Yeah, it's it's all. There's so many situations. Plus, right. we're three guys talking around a table. I, I mean, feel bad for I can't even begin to really start to know tough how somebody to... feels. I mean, imagine if, you know what I mean? But I, but here, Does it go beyond thing. their feelings, though? I don't like when, you know how you just said there's three guys talking around the table? So our opinions are a bit skewed, ignorant, you know, uh, when it comes to this. However, I don't like when 
women or anybody in general says that you shouldn't have an opinion on it because you're a guy. Because that's no, just no, stupid. we can have opinions. Anybody on everything. can have exactly anybody can have opinion on it. So I, I've seen. I feel like a lot of people back it themselves into that corner and kind of just ultimately just say, "Well, you, sh- you you're not a woman, so you don't know. You can't say anything about it." Like, go fuck yourself, bro. Of course we can say we're parents. You know, like we're humans. Yeah. We were once. If uh, you know what, I changed my whole stance. I grew in a woman's body. I knew. I know exactly what it would like to not grow in her body. If you killed me, I wouldn't be here. So I should have an opinion on it. And that's right. And I guess that brings up a whole other point. So, like, when you abort, you're you're abs- you're cutting off the child's chance of ever becoming anything, Present. just anything in general. Uh, you know, some would say, "Well, what would be that child's quality of life if the if the mother doesn't want him?" Well, you'll never that's, know because right. you're totally cutting. You're stopping it. You're, and that doesn't matter anyways because we're not killing people right now that have shitty qualities of life. Like, their life is still valuable to society, you know, and to humans in general. Well, not everybody feels that way. When you look at, let's like, say, prostitutes, homeless people, some people literally voice, and they're very vocal, like, just fucking kill them. Just, you who, know. Who says that? Scumbags. Who? People. People. Hence the reason why serial killers, a lot of the times, target what we consider low low lives of you know, society. Mm-hmm. They'll they'll look for prostitutes and crackheads and blah, 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 and just... People that are almost, quote-unquote, easily forgotten. You know, Yeah, I guess, and I hate people. saying that because, you right, know, it's not true. It's yeah. not that it's a, you know, it's just kind of, if you had to think like a serial killer for a minute, that's what you would think. I, personally, I think the government should step out again. Like, they're just way too involved. You're passing laws about stuff but here's well, the thing comes, though if there's no law exactly then you're comes saying back you're to, okay with everybody getting an abortion whenever they want there has to be some law well there's got to be there's got to be laws that that have a, has a precedence on what you can do like because it's going to come up where a woman says you know i was raped i want to have an abortion but then it'll go to the state law who has to debate it then it'll go to the federal law who has to debate it again so it always comes back to there isn't well exact, i guess yeah you know what i you're totally right and i i, I think uh maybe I, if i define what I think should happen, again, personally. Either the government's fully involved or they're not involved at all. That, I mean, I, I guess that's where I would leave it. What do you think? <laughs> you smoked the pen. <laughs> I agree. I, I agree. agree. <laughs> Piggybacking <laughs> off what you said, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Just take one hit of the pen and he agrees with abortion, with abortion in general. I agree with everybody. I just uh, want I to be happy. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a, obviously Shut a very. In the mic. <laughs> I can't it's, a, <coughs> it's obviously a a, a, a sensitive Sorry, a sensitive subject for some. You know, of course, of course. Um, you know, it, it's touchy. It's and I, I'm assuming that there's a lot of people that you know have done it. That who knows? You know, maybe feel guilty about it or don't feel guilty about it, but knew what they felt when they did it, and it probably wasn't the easiest decision. So it's Psych- psychiatrists and psychologists state that. After abortions, it severely affects the female's mental state. Of course, you know Absolutely. you probably it's probably yeah. that's it, it's probably a, you know along the same lines as you know like if you kill somebody, that's always gonna fuck with your head. You know. Well, I, I guess yes and no. It depends Especially on how they look at you it. Have they people, might not look at it like they're even if you don't look at it like that, killing though, or whatever. They but just when, might be, when half the population is telling you that you did, you know that's gonna weigh down on you because you, you're thinking have you like. You That's why it's a personal driven thing. by them. You've seen them. Like, when you go into one of those clinics, there's usually people with picket signs outside. Yeah. Pictures it's very emotional. Babies, you know, very like it's emotional. Very, subject. very, like, yeah. emotional thing. So, I can imagine that the, the effect that has on a woman's psyche can't be normal. You know, it's got to have some In principle, effect. can somebody argue the fact, like, all right, so, let's say a chick, you know, she, she gets an abortion. People are, you know, protesting or... D- debating it or whatever they're doing. They're just saying, hey, fuck you, you know, you killed a child, whatever, da, da, da. How does that apply to, let's say, masturbation, men spewing into a rag, and is that not killing life also? Whoa, bro. That is way too deep. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. No, I don't think, I don't no, think no, it's no. anywhere near I don't Whoa, think it's anywhere bro. near the same. I, I'm asking how you guys think. Like, no, what? because that sperm can never be something until it fertilizes an egg. It's not life yet. Yeah, the whole abortion, like... Uh, well, hold on, you say it's not life. Is it living? If it's living, it's life. Okay, then don't jerk off anymore. We don't have to <laughs> I mean, I'm not getting no, sucked no. down this rabbit hole. No, no, no. There's, no, no, no. I'm just 
I'm not even going down that. I'm road. presenting. Don't want to. I'm presenting just you know talking points. That's it. I'm yeah. just I'm playing devil's advocate. Present these nuts, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a murderer, and I fucking whack off probably six, seven times. A day like, I got like <laughs> I got like three million bodies in a towel in my bedroom. <laughs> Like, holy shit, kid. I, I am a serve, murderer. I'm about to serve multiple life sentences. <laughs> With no parole because my sock can stand on its own. Oh, geez. All right. So, I mean, when, when you jerk off, do you put it like, do you use socks? Do you use a rag? You know what's the dumbest shit? You ever watch a movie? You ever watch you a movie? asking me right now, bro? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? On that note, what's the next Shut the podcast? podcast. You, you, ever watch it? you know what's crazy? You ever watch a movie? And, like, they show, like, somebody about... This is not porn, by the way. But, like, it'll just be, like, stupid. They show somebody, like, insinuating they're about to jerk off and they have just a box of tissues. Like, when the fuck can you ever blow a load, bro, and a Kleenex is going to be enough to clean that shit up? I'm going to throw up, number one. <laughs> like, dude, dude like, let's just change the subject. Why, are you not, able, you're not comfortable talking about this? I don't want to hear about what your experiences are. Like, if you're you, blowing fucking if you, super sperm in the fucking in a if Kleenex, you blew a load, Six to seven care, times a day, bro. apparently. Like, it's fucking, if, you blew, if you blew a load, would a Kleenex be enough to take care of it? I've, yeah, man, I shoot light. I don't know, man. Like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, just it's just boring. It just leaks out. It's just like it doesn't even shoot. Like it doesn't, it doesn't at all shoot. That muscle at forty years old, just like fucking. I'm uh, not forty yet. I'm thirty nine. No, nah, nah, you know what's funny? Bro. Shit is out. Uh, because like you're I, exposing like shit about your personal life that I just really don't want to hear. I'm sure nobody else really wants to hear either. Like you'll just blow the fucking hole in, inside of your legs. Like dude, that's disgusting. It is what it is, man. We're all. You gotta remember, half the people listening to us are probably dudes that relate to this shit. Yeah, you have to think you know? about it. We're talking about abortions. Josh is gonna talk about blowing a load into a Kleenex. Okay. Yeah, going the. I mean, they go hand in hand. Just kind of relate. Go- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. <laughs> now that you put it that way, I totally Dude, understand. Half of our listeners jerk off regularly. Like they understand what's going on. If you're not comfortable talking about it, just tell me. Half. Talk I'd about say more it. than that. I think more of our listeners are actually male. So, more than half. Okay. So, 100% of our listeners. I know, but they go through it. They understand it. It's like, you know, they don't really need but to do you ever have hear about going? your practices and that I'm you can fucking right through a fucking Kleenex, man. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> use the fucking even... Viva towels, man. <laughs> fucking yes, paper towels. Brand. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so I you know they work. <laughs> yes. I know they, they work. They specifically have to be Viva towels. I know that they Viva towels. <laughs> Now, they Bobby's have max absorbent. Bonnie's not going to cut it, man. <laughs> yeah. You're going to start seeing little fucking, <laughs> what do you call it? When the fucking, when the uh, toilet paper sticks to your ass, what do you call that? The like dingle paper. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about right now, man? Like, don't use Bounty. You'll see fucking like sperm dingleberries everywhere. <laughs> sperm dingleberry? Oh, man. You're going to make me throw up. Dude. On, the just... pa- on the part two of the podcast. Oh, man. I just felt like, like, I felt the whiskey like come up a little bit when you just <laughs> said that. <laughs> Shit. All right. Anyway, we just went from fucking like Oscar Mayer wieners to abortions to jerking off and Viva, fuck it. Well, so Viva we're two, paper towels. We're, we're two for three because <laughs> people do not want to hear about abortions. I'll tell you that right now. That's true. You're absolutely <laughs> absolutely right. Uh, what else is going on, dude? Man. So what about that video? <laughs> That's really specific. The video. Of the, fucking- <laughs> 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 the video. Yo. Of- Hold on, that video. Thanks. There were some like videos that were put out about like a bunch of sixteen-year-old kids wearing MAGA hats, you know, whatever, blah blah blah, and the American Indian right. guy beating so, a drum in his face. My first thoughts on that were: I saw a kid in a MAGA hat, and then I saw a Native American. I didn't need. I, I not that I didn't need, but I decided not to even read the story because I know what the narrative is. I know what it's like. I know what. Depending on I the know, source, right? Not, yeah, it doesn't. The source doesn't even matter because I can look at that still image. Know that people are talking about it and know that there are going to be two sides to this. Right. And unfortunately, you know, it, it saddens me to say that it's it's what I expect. You know, it's what I expected. And the feedback and who I heard the feedback for was from, I'm sorry, who I heard the feedback from was what was to be expected. You know, most of my people that I know align a little more right, you know, support the kid in the MAGA hat. Most of my friends that align left say the kid, you know, shouldn't be smirking. You know, he's a schmuck and he needs a beating. You know, so I didn't think there was too much to talk about. Now, I know the truth. I know, you know, a second video came out and proved it. But everybody that I see sharing it, you know, it's too... Too, too far... Too deeply 
you know, aligned with one side or the other that they refuse to know and they refuse to look at it objectively, you know, so it doesn't, it doesn't even really matter. You know, it, it's a, it's the same story that we heard last week. It's the same story we held next week, you know, just it's different. It's this week's content. Kaepernick. It's this week's Kaepernick. Yeah, a- absolutely. Know? On I so. actually, I, I, I agree with you. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm like, I'm actually getting tired of hearing the stories. I'm like, you know what? Fuck the left. I don't give a right, fuck. Man. Yeah, fuck fun. the left. Fuck the right. Fuck Add everybody. Whiskey, you know, hit the vape pen. Eat, drink, and be married. Like, go grab yourself a roll of fucking Viva. <laughs> Viva <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really? Have a night, bro. Max absorbent. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically Viva. Specifically Viva. Shout out Viva. <laughs> Shout out Viva. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm not even hey, kidding. Hey, guys. This episode of the podcast is <laughs> Touch the paper towel, man. Paper it's towels. fucking great. <laughs> layers upon layers of absorbent. One sheet of paper towel is actually good for three minutes, so... You Multiple can, times, you can, you can reuse the George, back. George can't breathe. George, <laughs> <laughs> clean by minutes, bro. You can fucking <laughs> wait. So, I, you what, can what fu- are you talking about again? Are we talking about jerking off or not? Because ten minutes ago, you didn't want me to. Well, now that it's out in the open, we might as well. Right. You already fucking stated. So, let me put a scenario in front of you, right? And just don't sidetrack. Just answer as if you know. It's just us talking. Forget the camera. This is going to be really fucking stupid. It's going to be Go weird. Ahead. It's going to so be weird. <laughs> somebody offers you a million dollars. Let let me make the, the amount of money even more unreasonable where you can't turn it down. Are you going to put me in a spot right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm going to put you in a spot. $10 million, you have to jerk off a dude. I'm not asking you if you would because we all would. I would. $10 million bucks? Give me that dick, dude. So <laughs> $10 million, if you have to jerk Jay off... Jay O'Leary left the room. <laughs> $10 million, you have to jerk off a dude. Obviously, you would, right, for $10 million. No, I'm not doing it. Okay. A billion. Two mm-hmm. billion. Dude, stop it. There's an amount of money that you would do it. No, there isn't. It really isn't. Th- this is... It. All right. I know. You're looking at me like I'm yeah, fucking yeah, crazy. because you're lying right now. And no, I don't I'm, even want to go down that absolutely not lying 150%. Oh, million, of course you would. No, my stop. dignity is worth more than that. No, it's not, but I know I, you. I wouldn't be able to... <laughs> I, know like, you, I know you. I know you. You did it to me. Is not worth, <laughs> your dignity is not worth more than that. No, it really is. It's just unrealistic. It's one thing to joke. 10 mil, you would. Uh, I mean, can I use a glove? 20 mil. Yes, you can use a glove. I'll do it for like... Seventy-four thousand. I'll do it for seventy-four dollars. <laughs> seventy-four thousand. Right. Seventy-four dollars. So I mean, here's a glove. So Jay is, you know, Jay's too much of a homophobic to admit that he would do it. Wait, hold on. Said, <laughs> you're not you're so fucking but you're not. You're not completely if comfortable somebody with your told sexuality. Me, if we'll somebody told me they give me seventy-five thousand dollars in cash, 100%, I'm bro. grabbing an oven mitt and I'm going to town. Oven mitt, bro. An oven mitt. Ooh, I was thinking like a nice fucking thin latex. A glove. thin Just latex. No, I mean, yeah, that way you back. Feel the the, now you're getting back to the <laughs> million. You're all getting right, back so, to the million right, dollars. So, ready? Here's the deal. So, let's say two mil. Maids. Two mil, no glove. You have to jerk somebody off. Do you know? I would do anything for two million dollars. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. In a yeah. heartbeat. I just want to. All right, forget Two million dollars. You buy a house. You never pay do. tax. We would all jerk somebody off for two million. I know that we would. Whatever, dude. You would. Moving on. I never would. So, here's the real question. How would you would you just try to get it over with fast as you could? Listen, if you give me $2 million, I'll do it any which way you want. <laughs> <laughs> would you, God, would you climb the pepper like this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Listen, I'm, I mean, if I'm forced for to do million. something that for $2 million, for life-changing amount no. of money, I'm going to do it as fast as possible. <laughs> Good Lord. Where is this podcast gone? Oh, my God. <laughs> I, got a, I got another news so article for honest. you guys. At least you're honest. That's more I can say for Jay. Now, you just say it's honest because it agrees with what you think, but it's my dignity. Listen, have you ever seen twenty thousand dollars in cash? Two I don't billion? give a flying. Do you know what twenty thousand dollars in cash? I live in a fucking like? basement. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand my value <laughs> of money? Twenty thousand dollars. Two million dollars, man. Literally, buy. Shit, listen, you buy a five five hundred thousand dollar house. You pay taxes for twenty hey, years. This is an investment firm. <laughs> I'm investing in the hand job. <laughs> Jay goes. Up. I got a whole portfolio going. George goes on Facebook later tonight. Like, so who's got seventy four k? Hey, hold on. No, seriously though. If if I really were to say like you know, if I actually believe in that, I, and I, in the back of my mind, I'd be doing gay porn or something. Like, why aren't you doing gay porn? Yeah, I, don't I do be... not qualify. Yeah, no, you hold do on. not qualify. Either. <laughs> What's the difference? You're not, Have you ever watched you're your porn? Not to look neither at one naked? of us qualify. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No. Like, there no. are some dudes hold I watch in gay porn, like, all right, he's jacking. Just wear that shit up. No. You, I'd be like, you, hold on. There it's are over. mad people out there that don't give a flying fuck what you look like. Look up Ooh. porn right now on Pornhub, UJs, any of these You've never even seen amateur videos before? 
bro. Okay. Of course I've seen amateur videos. But so then why not, aren't you out there doing it? Because I do not search and want to watch the amateurs. Hold on. I want to see why not make that a money? fucking supermodel. Oh, God. My yeah, but you're also coming. I mean, how much is somebody going to pay to watch porn? When I watch Jay, porn, Jay, when I watch like, porn they need to be, <laughs> they need to be <laughs> not much. amateurs. Okay? They need to be porn stars that I will never have a chance of meeting or seeing. So, whatever. And this gets need, really weird. Need to be super, you know, they need to look fake, bro. They look real. It's, you know. Because my girl's the best looking girl I know, bro. If I want something real, I'll just good go save, home. Good save, good save. Shout go out home. to Sasha. When I watch, you know, porn, it needs to be like, hey, that's unrealistic. You know, fake titties, <laughs> fake ass, fake lips, fake nose. I'll just watch cartoon porn, to be honest but with you. But what about the female? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she gotta be real, bro. I just want to see that fake dick. Yeah. Nah, no, no, seriously, no. I, I don't think I ever would. I would just... I yeah, we moved on from that. Everybody knows you're full of shit, bro. Two billion. We're talking about billions of dollars. I don't give a fuck if it was well, eighty-seven. It was, billion. It was two million, but billion. Yeah, yeah, I just tried to get to that lower. number where someone would find a say, "Oh god." Okay. You just said you just said you live in a basement. Somebody give you Jay two said he, million dollars. Jay, I yeah, don't Jay give said a for fuck. him to Jay said for him to finally do it. All he could do is like and share. <laughs> <laughs> Take a screenshot and you subscribe. Hey, some of us get free hats. There is not much we won't do for a review on iTunes. <laughs> nah, I, yeah. We're working hard, man. We're working hard, <laughs> working. Putting a lot of work in. We're trying so wait, to give you guys good content. How do we man? go back Sorry. to jerking off from the American Indian and the white Indian? What have you done? What is the one activity, aside from like breathing or eating, that you've done more in your life? Sleeping. Sleeping, okay. Yeah. Spent a third of our life sleeping, I'd, pretty I'd much. say working. Working third of all life. Fifth, fifth. You got fifth. <laughs> you got fifth. <laughs> <laughs> brushing teeth, jerking out. Mm. Yep, that's it. Hey, I'm all for fucking. What do you think you do more often? Um, clip your fingernails or jerk off? Absolutely, I fucking clip my fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to ask you. No, I'll, I'll give you a question since you're asking questions. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the hottest chick that you know, right? Who would it be? Let's uh, not even know that. Let's say fantasize about it or whatever. Sasha, I know. We're both in committed relationships. Oh, God. You, my girl. So, who, so who's being fucking dishonest here? <laughs> like, Beth? No. <laughs> no, seriously. That's my you're... answer. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> um, so the hottest, if I, all right, so we're talking like celebrities too. Just anybody. Anybody in the world. In, in a just... world where like I never met my girl. I don't give a fuck if you okay. met your girl. That's the only world where I would ever think about another room. Oh my track God. Guys. I'm just being, I'm being he honest. He saves it multiple Sasha, times. you got it up. like that? <laughs> Good Lord. All right, so hottest ever. I'm just saying, who's, who's like, Some you know, some people's like Jessica Alba or like whatever. Oh, yeah, when I was younger, Jessica Alba, those years hit her hard though. Mm. Did it? I don't know, bro. Oh. Look at me. Who am I to fucking talk? I'm just I saying, think of, okay, think of the hottest chick that you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, now I want to put you in a scenario. Oh, we're not answering that question? Hold on. No. Just whoever it may be, right? You're in bed with her. And yes. she is okay. using a dildo on herself, right? She's doing her thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're all hot and heavy. She takes it out, and she goes to put it in your mouth. What do you do? No. See how she... <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, ah. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Yo, we're probably killing the mic level right now. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to see, you know? Oh, shit. yeah. This is freaky weird shit, dude, to be honest with you. This is kind of deep. but Oh, because the I'm whole not, jerk off thing wasn't deep? I'm not running. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Are you, are you also preempting you... with the hottest woman you've ever yeah, met? Yeah, of course. That's, a, that's Again, a... with the $2 million, I'm doing whatever. I do weirder shit with my wife, dude, to be honest with you. So, that ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we right. can't release this episode. No, no chance. Absolutely, we can. Absolutely. So you, so you're saying you would suck it? God, there are people I work with, man, that are going to be listening to this. Well, people that you're going to be, that you used to work with. I didn't say that. What the fuck? They're like, you're man, fired. <laughs> I'm going to drive the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. What would you do, George? I have no comment. 
come on. What, come what if somebody, if somebody gave you 10 million? You just said you would suck a dick for fucking 2 million. I just told you to do anything for oh, wait, 2 million no, dollars. Just, for 1 million. Kind of for one I'm million. talking about a female and all of a sudden you're clamming for up. For 1 million. <laughs> for if you blow a fake dick. A dildo. Yes. Whoever oh, that is. 100%. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. You're sucking this thing that looks like a dick. Listen, you're telling me there's going to be. I need the pepper. Josh is going into town with it. Yeah, bro. I'm just saying. I'm probably getting the nuts too. <laughs> Does it have nuts? <laughs> what kind of dildo are we talking about? Yeah, for real, man. I don't know. Because it actually... It kind of happened. Oh, never mind. All right, so... A million. <laughs> a million. Now, you wouldn't jerk off a dude for a million. No. A million. Would you give a blowjob to a dildo? Oh, a dude. Yeah, that's Fuck about yeah, 85, right, 85 so bucks. Your reasoning was that <laughs> your dignity was worth more than two billion. Yeah. But you're willing to sacrifice your dignity... Two million, as long as it's a fake for, dildo. Oh it's fuck a fake yeah! Dick? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! Fuck that! That's not a real dude. That's not. That's not a real living so, dude. So like a homophobic thing. Man. It no, like it's, you're scared of the I, gays. No, I'm scared, scared of the dick. <laughs> I'm not scared of the gay. <laughs> gays, I can deal with all day long. I'm scared of the dick in the dick. back of my throat, dude. Well, I said jerk it oh, off. Oh, went oh, straight to jerk off the level dick, ten. Bro. You know what jerk oh. off means? Well, how do you jerk off a dildo? Uh, no, he's saying he's saying a two million dollar hand job. So somebody comes in, there's a hole in the wall, sticks oh, it in. I'm you not rub touching it out a real dude. That's all I'm saying. For two million, I don't give a fuck about those ten. Look million. at him. Look at him getting all gangster and shit, dude. Damn, bro. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh no, no. I'll you, work that no dildo. Dude. <laughs> That's right. I'm not. No dicks. <laughs> <laughs> no dicks up in this hoodie. Yeah, you're right. Hey man, to each no. his own. What? <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to all the you know. I have nothing against. Homosexuals are the worst shout out ever. It's the worst. No, it's the greatest. The shout out. <laughs> like, let me let me shout out all the guys that would do it for two million. Shout, shout out to all the guys that would jerk dudes off for two million. <laughs> all of the listeners. Probably yeah, pretty much, dude. Basically, most of the population. And yeah, they might agree. Nobody's dignity is worth that much money. Mine is. Not a chance, dude. Uh, uh, hey, bro, I've been fucking drinking. You know, like, whatever. I st- and I still say it. I would never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever do it. Just drinking have to do it. I think there's a price for anything. Yeah, 100%. Dude. That's Two false. million dollars? That's false until you meet somebody like me. That's life-changing money. Uh, it's, pff, yeah, you're right. It's life-changing, all right? You got to live with the fact that you jerked off a dude. Yeah, That's I fine. I, have, I also have to live with a life that I never I'm, have to pay more than ever again. I would get a plaque made, like, of me and a bronze statue jerking that dude off. Yes, <laughs> 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 Hey, posing. Two million. Two, two minutes for two million. Two minutes for two no, million. But it's essentially, what you guys are saying, though, is that, like, so there is a price on your dignity. Where does it where does it cut off? Would you do it for 200000 Yes. Would you do it for 100000 Yep. 50000 right? you, I told you're you're so my number, was, my number was so far from my number. My number was 74000 You're so far from 74, my number. 74000 You give me 70, 73000 You I'm don't out. do it? That's weird. What's, how much money do you have? What? How much money do you have? What does that have to do with it? That's probably where my number's at. Really? <laughs> oh, fuck. You do it for $5? <laughs> <laughs> I got 37 dollars I got 37 <laughs> cents. <laughs> and a coupon for Wendy's. Uh, nah, I don't know what that number's at. So where's the line? Let me ask you. Where's the line? It's somewhere. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, it's got, you got to have a kind of a round the ball yeah, part. we're not going to go there, though, right now. Why yeah, not? I'm trying, trying to fucking... Low, I'm going exactly to start a GoFundMe. He wants an exact goal. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. Yeah, the GoFundMe's have changed the game, huh? Crazy. That's so crazy. funny. Hey, you know bro. what? Some people look at it like, you know, like, oh, you got to fucking GoFundMe. Like, you're pathetic. Well, no. Oh, I have, yeah, it's just like fundraising. I you know, the, like, football teams do it. Kids, it's fundraising. I got it's the digital best fundraising. example for you ever for GoFundMe, okay? There was a couple that wanted to sail around the world, right? So they sold everything that they had, and they bought a sailboat. Nice. First or second excursion out, they were going to go to the Bermuda or Bahamas or something. First or second excursion out, they crashed the boat. And it sank. Nice. So they started a GoFundMe. They made twenty thousand dollars for a new boat. We should start a GoFundMe. The so there's, so you're. I mean, I understand the GoFundMe's where it's you know somebody got in a car accident, they can't afford medical bills, Cancer, they want to they want to get or even a Kickstarter where you say yeah. I want to start you know business. selling these watches. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, but when day. you say I want to travel around the whole world and not work anymore, and then you know hundreds of people are donating to it. It is what it is. 
That's crazy. Well, think about it though. You, didn't Trump? Didn't Trump just raise like a, over a million? Everybody will world? always donate to something that they can perceive in their own mind and relate to, no matter what it is. I don't give a fuck what it is. So if it's travel around the world, everybody wants to do that, and they're like, "Hey, not everybody. Fuck it, I, dude. Mad people want to do that. They'd just be like, "Hey, I'll give you fucking whatever. I'm down, J Hood. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's, yeah. Anyways, go for it. <laughs> I think they're dope. I see a lot of people doing them. I like when uh, I don't like when people have like house fires or shit, but I like when um, I see GoFundMe's, you know, being successful and helping people bounce back from like tragic situations. How about Trump's shit? Like it's stupid. With the shutdown? No, no, his GoFundMe that raised uh, like eighteen mil and fuck. Well, there was, there was also another GoFundMe dude. to uh, to supply ladders that was com- like combating I saw that, that one, one too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's all crazy anyway. That's nuts. I wonder, do people actually like? I mean. I don't even know how GoFundMe really works, like behind the scenes. Can people pocket that? I mean, or yeah, I mean, if you well, it, it that's does it have to be tied to a I charity think, or yeah. well, not a charity. I think there's something. Look up real quick, George. GoFundMe, like stipulations. No, or? no, no. People forced to return the money for a GoFundMe. Account. Oh, there's been there's been a, a tons of examples. Let's look of at that. what it actually. It also is gets like it also gets kind of crazy where if I set up so say Josh gets into a car accident, yeah. I set up a GoFundMe and it comes to my account. That's where it gets real sketchy because there's been cases where somebody will set up a GoFundMe for another charity or for something that happened and then pocket the money and run. That's happened. Too. I'm sure that probably happens frequently. You know, it must do. Like anytime yeah, you, have, you would think, anytime you have money, money you get involved. Greed involved, like people start to do sketchy shit. You know, like right, like jerking off dudes. I don't think that's that sketchy, man. Like I have no issues. I don't think that that's sketchy. Well, I'm not afraid of a man jerking off another man, Jay. I don't know why it bothers you so much. It's weird. Yeah, there's an example that came up recently about a guy that was stealing money from a homeless veteran that he set up a GoFundMe for, and it just goes on and on. I mean, there's pages of it. What a scumbag. Not because and that's the thing, there are a lot of scumbags homeless. out there. Like, you can't fucking trust nobody. Anybody. Anybody. This dude's just getting so like, nice fucking right now. Double shit. negatives. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't, don't trust nobody now. Nah, no more. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> I'm sorry. My fucking, like, when I start drinking, my old thug hood shit comes out. Own it, bro. Own it, you sassy man. So, what else you got, Bob? For what? All right, then. Let's wrap this shit up, man. <laughs> for a while. You know? What, has it been an hour? How long has it been? It doesn't matter how long it's been. This conversation's dying out. It's been long enough. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Let's thank everybody for tuning in. It's been a great show, guys. Once again, before uh, before we go, make sure you check out George at Division Street Auto. 595 Division Street in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Check them out. 10% off of all labor when you mention this podcast. Jay, thanks for coming as always. George, I had fun. 